today. Uh, today we're going to do a demonstration um, a viscosity sample that was taken from one of our clients. Um, I, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour this, this screw into this beaker so you would see how viscous the, the, the sample is. Now it's a dry crude, right? Um, it has an API probably about 8 or 9 API. So as you can see how difficult this crude is to flow, right? So what are we going to do? We're going to use some chemicals now, right? A blend that we have, we have formulated, right? And it's going to, um, we're going to see the reduction in the, um, in the, in the test. Okay, so now I'm going to use our blended product, which we have formulated in-house to, um, reduce the viscosity of the of the crude right first i'm going to check the the crude which has not been treated yet by um, checking the viscosity of the crude before any chemical treatment so that will represent your well being produced without any chemical Attaching the spindle to the to the viscomet the um, to the book feel apparatus. It's already set, so I'm going to turn it on and get a. It will give me a reading in centi stokes, centi of the of the viscosity of the sample, and there you can see it's averaging around seventy five thousand centi points. All right? Okay. So my Micro pipette is set at a thousand uh, ppm, right? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add a thousand ppm of our in-house chemical to the crude, and we're gonna mix it, homogenize the sample. After which, we're gonna check the reading of it to see what is the reduction in in viscosity of the sample. So here I am um, taking off taking out a thousand ppm of the product. I'm going to inject it into the crude, into the sample, right? Now that I've done so, I'm going to use the stirrer and I'm going to mix the chemical which has just been uh, injected into the crude. I'm going to mix the sample now. I'm going to homogenize this sample or the chemical that is in the crude by stirring it continuously for about three to five minutes. So right now the as you can see it's at 63 300 we will take it at 63 300 so we will check the the viscosity reduction based on the sample when it was untreated and now it has been treated with a thousand ppm of our blend and we will to check the um, record that reading and do the calculation to see what the reduction in, in viscosity is so, okay. So now that we have used the 1000 ppm of the, the blend, we're going to add another 1000 ppm to make it 2000 to see what is the further reduction by um, in, so like increasing the chemical dosage of the product. All right, so I'm going to add another 1000 ppm of the product into the sample and we're going to homogenize the sample again. Um, bear in mind something that when you, with the Temperature that is out in the field and the mixing of the crude, you tend to, that tends to aid in the or helps the, the viscosity reduction. Temperature, chemical, and time. Mixing is important as well. So here I'm mixing the, the, the additional chemical to the sample to homogenize it so I can get a further possible reduction in the uh, viscosity of the crude. Okay, so now that I've homogenized the sample, with the 2000 ppm of our product, I'm now going to check the viscosity of this product to see how well it has performed at 2000 ppm. So I'm attaching the spindle to the apparatus. Okay, perfect. And now I am going to put on the unit and we're going to check the viscosity reduction. So we currently at 54,900. Sorry, it's going up a bit. Okay, we will run it at 55,000. 
we will use 55,000 as the close figure for it. 55,000. Okay, so at 1,000 ppm, we got a 20% reduction, almost a 20% reduction. And if I double the rate, uh, the percentage reduction went up to about 40%. This means to say that if with the reduction in temperature, if you're out in the field, and if you were to inject a chemical probably down at the, at the reservoir area, uh, area so the crude could, be fl could flow up to the surface uh, with that temperature, that eating temperature would also help in the amount of chemical you use in the system and also that will also help with the mixing of the, of the, um, of the chemical when it's injected into the crude. Okay.